friends, welcome back to Cami's Corner. I am incredibly aware that I owe you a deep dive into Susan Hill's Woman in Black for the month of May. However, I was not able to get that to you in a timely manner because May has become increasingly overwhelming, probably more than I even imagined it could be, and I don't see any end in sight for the next few weeks. So what I have decided to do instead of giving you a very thrown together harrowing horror, I will be bringing that to you in true cami fashion on June the 1st. And it will be at the conclusion of that video that I will select the next installment of harrowing horror. I don't do these half-assed. I put a lot of energy and effort into each month's selection. To say that I spend days, weeks, sometimes the entire month diving into these authors, these characters, these stories, would be nothing but the truth. I mean, you just saw the stack of papers and that's just what I've done thus far. So I don't want to go into any month, this month included, half-heartedly. With that said, um, at the end of March, I started to kind of look through my shelf and I knew that I was about 20-something titles away from completion. When I started this list, I had just at or just under 20 titles of my own from the list and then I started to collect them. The idea was to get you know a few every month and I was doing very well and very successful at it for a few months and then I just kind of tapered off. So toward the end of March I decided you know what I'm just going to go out all my resources Amazon, eBay, used bookstores, Goodwill etc and I'm gonna complete this list. So on March 21st, I ordered my last book. However, in true eBay fashion, the very last book that I ordered turned out to be a false sale. I didn't receive the book. It took me a few weeks to resolve that issue, and I finally had to track another one down and just reorder it. So we'll say mid to late April, I finally completed all 100 titles of the 100 scariest horror novels of all time. That's pretty incredible. <laughs> I started one year ago and it took me one year to complete. Imagine if I put that effort into other areas of my life where I might be today. Nonetheless, accomplishment and I am happy. So I now am the proud owner of all of the 100 books on this list and I couldn't be happier. I have stumbled across some amazing stories, some incredible authors that I probably would have never even bothered to pick up. And it is through this genre that I have met some of the most incredible people that I have never seen in real life. It is through Bookstagram and the YouTube platform, Instagram, Twitter, that I have had amazing conversations. I have been shared amazing recommendations, People send me pictures of books, their bookshelves, their shelfies. I have exchanged books with people. I have received some of the most incredible letters and correspondence from people all around the world, all because I decided to embark on this adventure. This has been one of the most incredible journeys for me as a whole. And some of these characters will be with me forever. Robert Neville. Suwanda, Sweet Swan. <laughs> Every time I turn over dirt, I think of Sweet Swan and the incredible impact that she has had on me. Leland Gaunt, these are just to name a few. I have had the best time doing this and it is only the beginning. I have only done a dozen books on this list, so I have an incredible journey still ahead of me. Please bear with me as I still continue to embark on this journey. But what I have decided to do since I am not bringing you my normal deep dive this month is I'm going to share the completion of this collection with you as I had done back in October. If you are interested in seeing the first half of that collection, which was about 60 books I believe, then I will leave that link below and this will be the rest of the collection. I do hope you enjoy this and please leave me some feedback. Let me know how you are enjoying these deep dives and I hope that you'll continue to stick around as I continue to embark on some incredible stories. So without further ado, let's take a look at the rest of this amazing Harrowing Whore collection.
So that was the rest of the collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your patience as I continue to get through this crazy month. But I promise I will be back on June the 1st with a complete deep dive into Susan Hill's Woman in Black and the next selection for Harrowing Horror. Until next time, friends, keep it creepy. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.